The city of West Hollywood is making history by appointing its first drag ambassador who will help promote the art form and the city itself. The city's inaugural drag laureate will be a drag queen named Pickle. Pickle has been performing in drag for the past eight years and will serve a two-year term in her position. Essentially, I'll be promoting the art of drag, promoting um, the different ways that we can empower drag artists in the community and really connect the people living in West Hollywood to drag and in all its different capacities. In the face of legislation across the U.S. that attempts to ban or heavily restrict drag and roll back LGBTQIA plus rights in general, Pickle hopes that her position can help bring more visibility to the art form and empower those who participate in it. At this particular political moment when there's such a climate of opposition to queer rights, to art forms like drag, to trans rights. It's so important to have positions like these, not only to promote the art form, but also to really show that they're, they're not coming from a place of logic. These are attacks that aren't based in any kind of truth. This is the death rattle of a movement that cannot adapt to a changing world and to a community that just is saying, like, we're not hiding in the shadows anymore. Pickle is the United States' second drag laureate. The first is Darcy Drellinger, who was named San Francisco's drag laureate in May. Drellinger will work with Pickle to help show her the ropes of the position. Pickle will begin her term on July 1st, but will be officially inaugurated on July 16th. So I've always thought of what are sort of unconventional spaces that we can introduce drag to, like working in museums. I've partnered with the Academy Museum to present original pride programming in these galleries. and and bringing drag into more theatrical spaces and venues and bringing drag into libraries with Drag Story Hour. There's all these different ways that I think we are getting to explore the art form. And so I really want to empower drag artists to explore their talents, to push themselves and to challenge themselves to really show the world that drag is a powerful, dynamic and intellectual art form.